Good evening, everybody. This is the moment that you've all been waiting for. So, it's time for my, my very first system test with my new addressable system. So, here's the panel. Yep, that's right. This will be my first system test of the MS-9600 UDLS. As you see, all system is on normal. Open the panel up. Down there, you got, I got my batteries. And up here, these are the terminals that I wired up. These right here are the NACs. This is for the resettable and non-resettable power. This is for if you want to wire an enunciator. And this over here on the far right, that's where you wire the SLC. So let's go over what I have on the system. Up here got this MMF 300 monitor module which is controlling a conventional pull station on the system and I'll show you that in a minute but for now let's see where this wire goes we're gonna fire follow this wire it's gonna go past the 4064 system it's gonna go up around here and down to here to my to the new to my new ANN80 enunciator yep that's right i now have i have an enunciator on the system and i am going to be silencing the system on it today so, and all right, over here, NAC1, got my Simplex 29198838 on the 493911 stroke plate. And over here, NAC2, got the my Simplex 4969127. Do got the SmartSync module behind it. And, it, and, the, and both the NACs are set to do four wire operation. And then coming down here, I got the SD365 addressable smoke. Take off. Take off the head so that y'all can see the model number. And as you saw, I got a trouble on the panel because I took the head off. But, I'm gonna go ahead. If you can see that, it's, this is the Firelight SD365. And I have this detector on address number three. Coming over here, I got this the H365R A heat detector. Take this off. Here's the model number. C H365RA. And it's set on address four. Then down here, I got a new, I got a new Firelight BG12LX addressable pull station, 
and it's set on address number two. Go ahead and open it. See, that's what the inside looks like. There's the model number. And over here for the conventional pull station, I just got the Firelight BG12L. Nothing much about this pull station. I'm just going to wait for the system to finish initializing, then we'll start with the test. There we go. So this is what I have set up. Now we're gonna start with the test. Now this will be quick because it's late at night and plus I have the NAC1 set to continuous and NAC2 is set to code three by the sync module. And they'll both be doing four wire audible silence. So, before I start the test, as always, please do not pull fire alarms in real buildings or tamper with any life safety equipment out in public. I will not be responsible for your actions if you choose to do so. So, we're going to go ahead and pull the BG12LX. Here we go. This is going to be loud, so headphone users, please turn down your volume. Everybody ready? In five, four, three, two, one. silence. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull the, B, the BG12L. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. And I silenced from the enunciator this time. So, let's go ahead and reset the pull stations. And now we can reset the system. As you saw, as I reset the system, the true alert made a little chirp, which is kind of weird. Right, system's back to normal. 
Now we're going to go ahead and activate the detectors. And we're going to activate them with a magnet this time. So here is the smoke detector. actually pretty loud. All right, now we're going to do the heat detector. Here we go. silence. Detectors are both activated. Now we're going to go ahead and reset the system. Just went for the system reset. All right. Well, this is going to be do it for this very first system test of the 9600 system, everybody. I hope you all enjoy it. By the way, I am taking system test requests for, for the 9600 system now. You just have to choose which two alarms you'd like to request plus which conventional pull station for the monitor module. And plus also choose which detector you want me to activate and whether you want me to activate the smoke detector with smoke saber or magnet. If you want me to activate the heat detector with the hair dryer or magnet. And plus you can also request me You can also request if you want me to silence the system with the enunciator or do a fire drill on the enunciator. But anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all enjoy it. Be sure to check out my other fire alarm videos and I will see you next time. By the way, I am still going to be taking system test requests for the 4064 system as well. So, Y'all stay tuned. Peace out, everybody.